first, I'd like to thank all the great people who helped me preparing this workshop. As it is impossible to mention them all, and because I don't want to privilege the famous and to forget about the less known, I name only nobody. Well, in the workshop I will, but not here and not today. There's a brand new forum as well. A forum meant for discussions and help concerning my workshop, but also dealing with other questions of sound design. It's called Deep Sound Divers Coffee House. You are highly welcome to leave a comment there, even before the workshop begins at the end of May. When Yamaha released their DX7 in, the 19, in 1983, the world of synthesizers would never be the same again. This synth influenced and dominated the works of a whole generation of musicians all over the genres from pop to rock to electronic to so-called serious experimental music. Sword and armor of the DX7 was a technique known as frequency modulation in short FM. And even if it wasn't really frequency modulation, but phase modulation, PM, what you would find under the hood of this machine, Yamaha and everybody else called it FM frequency modulation, more or less until today. Literally all famous musicians and bands of those days used FM sounds. But what made FM so attractive and what makes its attractiveness sustain until today? Why are even brand new synths and VSTs equipped with FM or PM and in what do those new, those actual variants of FM PM differ from the old ones? And which are those FM PM synths and VSTs of the 21st century? FM is said to be impossible to understand, really understand. It is said to be terribly complicated to reproduce a sound you have in your head using FM. It is said that nobody can really predict what sound exactly comes out of your FM gear when you start turning the knobs and sliders. Is there any synth of VST which really sounds like the glorious DX7? Or are they all but cello imitations? My workshop is going to answer all these questions and will dispel your reservations. FM is a powerful weapon in the hands of those who know, and it is not half as difficult to understand as it is said to be. The workshop consists of three main columns, each representing one of the three main topics of the workshop. First, gear functions and handling. Here I show you how to work with the VST DX, the uh, DX7 software clone, and patch editor manager, which is available for free. I'm going to talk about other VSTs and eventually even hardware synths as well a little later in the series. Second, FM Basics. This part will enable you to design sounds according to what you hear in your head. Instead of terribly complicated looking mathematical formula, I'll show you a simpler way, an easier and more comfortable path through the jungle of frequency modulation, respective phase modulation theory. Easier and more comfortable? Yes, indeed but nevertheless not at all shallow and not at all just a kind of guided trial and error approach. Third, sounds and presets. 
We are going to take a detailed look at famous sounds and presets designed by great musicians like, for example, Brian Eno, John Lord and others. But we are also going to analyze typical examples representing whole families of FM sounds. Well, every topic contains tasks for you, challenges. I don't want to call it homework, which I'm going to discuss in the following part. Well, and here is a rough overview. The whole workshop in keywords. Some details may change according to your feedback, but the main schedule is as follows. There are no hardware FM synths mentioned in the following schedule, but I'll try to borrow some and present them in the workshop. Negotiations are a thing. Workshop 1. In part 1, Functions and Handling, we go on a quick tour across the GUI of DX, talk about the file management and start talking about the envelopes. In part 2, FM Basics, I answer the questions what is FM, what is PM, um, I introduce some basic terms and simulate basic waveforms. Then we take a look at how the amplitude and how the frequency of the modulation influence the spectrum and at least we simulate an analog filter. In part 3, Sounds and Presets, we program a raw draft of a plucked, plucked string. Workshop 2. In part 1, I continue talking about the envelopes and introduce the algorithms of DX. Then I show you how to scale the rate and the level. In part 2, we talk about frequency ratios and sidebands, about fundamentals, partials and timber, and about the spacing of sidebands. In part 3, we program a raw draft of a piano. Workshop 3. In part 1, we experiment with the different LFO settings and with the modulation sensitivity of the VST, respectively the DX7, and do some keyboard splitting. In part 2, I introduce certain families of frequency ratios and their musical meaning. In part 3, we analyze one of Brian Eno's violin presets. Workshop 4. In part 1, I talk about some special techniques and functions of DX and compare DX with image lines Cytrus. In part 2, we work with second order modulations and methods to enrich the spectrum of a basic sound. In part 3, we analyze two factory presets. Workshop 5. In part 1, I continue talking about actual FM VSTs and FM synths. This time it will be Tone 2's Nemesis 2 and Tube Ohm's TFM. You don't need to buy the VSTs to reproduce the lesson. The demo versions are sufficient for this purpose. In part 2 we calculate a pet sound using the FM basics we will have talked about in workshops 1 to 4. In part 3 we analyze typical pet sounds of the 80s. Workshop 6. In part 1, we work with UE's VST Basil, and again you can use the demo version here. In part 2, we calculate structured bell sounds and talk about different classes of bells. In part 3, we analyze some famous bell and piano sounds. Workshop 7. In part 1, I show you around native instruments FM8 and image lines Toxic Biohazard. 
and you only need the demo versions, of course. In part 2, we take a deeper look at theoretical approaches in so-called contemporary serious electronic music, as far as they are concerned with FM. In part 3, I analyze a larger piece of an FM-based composition. Workshop 8. In part 1, I introduce some freeware FM VSTs to you, VSTs of quality, as I think. In part 2, there are some special problems to solve concerning the practical importance and relevance of FM theory. In part 3, we rebuild, reproduce, some famous FM presets and patches using only freeware FS, uh, VSTs. I'm looking forward to you participating in the workshop and please register for free to get all the advantages of a registered participant. More information and news you can also get at my website www.rofilm-media.net and you may visit the forum to get the most actual, most burning news at once. Yeah, have a great day and a good time. Rolf. Thank you.